Well, that's good, everybody. I wanted to go and give Stealth Bomber another shot. It did get buffed at the start of the season with the increased HP and a shorter attack interval. So let's go and see what it can do. Our first point we are playing is a Japanese player. So I'm instantly going to drop in both of my evolves, getting to get those up fast as possible. Because I am pairing him with Kong. So it should be pretty nice for the buff wise at least. Does go and drop a Super X and a Batcher. Batcher is going to go and get up for free, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to drop Hedora. I'm going to try to protect it. Let's go. We're going to block up with the Marcuses. Fine. Our Mothra is going to go and get up, so perfect for us. I'm going to go and drop a Leo on the right side. I'm going to play for that Ultima. Then I'm going to drop a Stealth Palm on the left side and go straight for the boost. Just drop a Batra. Actually, I'm going to change your plans. I'm going to go ahead and pair a Mothra in here just so we can get rid of the Batra. Not much of an attack from here. He's looking good. Batra goes down. Not sure if that... Uh, he is playing super. Okay. Put that down. Do manage to take that out. That's super big. I'm going to go ahead and pop the boost. I'm gonna go for the boost. Get some easy damage right now. Perfect. Stealth Bomber's gonna go to work. Does drop a Super X, but that Bomber's gonna at least put in some damage before it goes out. Mothra's doing her thing. Nice. And do a hell of a lot of damage off an opening break. Is gonna drop Batcher and Super X, but I'm gonna block it off. Go ahead and block that. We're gonna go and play in Gears. Try to pull another push and end him with the Bomber. Let's play a Caesar, but I'm gonna play my own Leo. It's fine. Leo should take out Caesar for free. And he does. I'm gonna go and play a bomber, get involved in that. Leo is doing a little bit of work right there. The bomber should come in for the play. And it's on its way to deliver the final blow. And it does, so GG's. And for our next opponent, we are playing against Luna Lovegood. So let's go and see what we can do. Do you get a pretty decent hand? And I'm gonna go straight for my Hedora Evolve. And I'm gonna drop Mothro. Okay, does drop a Mega Gears. And I'm gonna try a counter with Leo. Perfect. Nice. Gonna go and wait before I drop them. Wait a little bit, and I'm gonna go now. And I'm gonna also go for my Mothra Evolve. Hopefully we can get that up, because Mothra is a pretty big help in this card deck. Does drop his own Leo, but we do manage to get the charge and a hit. Okay, it's really good off the start. Does drop a Train Bomb, hopefully it doesn't have Dimension Tide. Okay, nice. And we drop a Hedora and block the Leo, he does have Dimension Tide, so that's a shame. But I'm gonna go ahead and block that Leo. I'm gonna go and work up a slow, steady little push here. I'm gonna go drop in Gears. I'm gonna wait a little bit actually. I'm gonna drop in Gears, let them go together, and then I'm gonna drop a bomber on the other side. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go drop the bomber, see what he does against it. I'm kind of curious what defense he plays against the stealth bomber. I actually am gonna chip away, go ahead and go and pop the boost. I wanna kinda of maximize the damage I can get here. Let's do some decent damage. I am gonna get another hit, guaranteed. Yep, do you manage to get another hit? Okay. So I actually am going to take the hit from the Caesar. Don't want to take the hit from G9, so I'm going to block that. Perfect. It's fine. I'm going to take a hell of a lot of damage. Actually, that yeah, might be it for me. It's fine. So we do have one more shot before he Dimension Tide trains bomb us. So we're going to go and rush this. Go, go, go. Not enough. He just used Train Bomb, so he doesn't have much to do after that. I'm going to go ahead and get the trains. And that is game, so GG's Luna. And for our next opponent, we are playing against Mugetsu. Okay, let's go and see what we got. Do get Mothra off the rip and in Gears. So I am going to play a Mothra. I want to get that up as fast as I can. So let's go and see what we got. So I have been wanting to try out Kong Leader for a minute now. So can try to get into pair of that. And, okay, he does drop Kidu. Have to go ahead and cut into this. Kidu is going to hit Mothra, unfortunately, so that's fine. Not really concerned about that. Gonna go and get Hedora up at least. That's always nice getting something up. So 
So what I was saying was I have been wanting to run Calling Leader for a minute, and I also wanted to run Stealth Bomber, so what better way to pair them together? So, has been working out pretty nicely. So we're gonna go and build that up. Just drop down a max duty nine. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and play Leo. Want to chip away at that? See what he does against that. Just drop some carcasses and a row down. Okay, I'm gonna farm up in the back. It's fine. I'm gonna go and block this. He is gonna dimension tide at some point. Just curious when he does. I'm gonna go and drop he does do it right now. Okay. Dropping gear is down. Nice comics getting involved, and I'm gonna go and go for a free mocker hit. Yes. I'm gonna go for a free mocker deploy. So we did waste a lot to try to take that out, but at the end it just cancelled out in our part, so everything worked out. I'm gonna drop the on the back, and I'm gonna drop a stealth bomb on the right side. Try to pinch him a little bit here. And I'm gonna use the Kong ability, because why not go and cycle out, do a little bit of damage here. It does drop the key in the back, but I'm gonna go and pop the ability right now. Do some damage on this. The door does get affected by the boost too, so that's gonna be a one hit. Nice. Does drop his rogue down, but we're really laying some heavy damage so far. It's always nice. One more hit, and it does. Goes for Psychic Chorus. Okay. I'm gonna go and block this with Ingiris. And I'm gonna try to build a little push from here. I'm gonna wait a little bit, letting Gears get closer, and I'm gonna kinda help out a little bit. He is gonna drop some Marxes to deploy against Leo, but that's fine. He's gonna dimension tide all this together for Keter to shoot, but you wanna lay us some damage down at least. Do something to GD9. Fine. Gonna go ahead and block that. Don't wanna take any damage on Hadora. Hadora does manage to get hit, okay. Didn't expect that. And I'm gonna play Leo down, try to get rid of the Rodan, and then we're gonna take out the Kidu. Gonna wait a little bit, get that get out, and we go for Angiris. He's trying to chip away at us. Okay. Okay, he does play. Okay, not sure why. Let's see what he can do. I'm gonna go and play a little more aggressive here. Kinda wanna get this game closer to put away. He's dropping a Kidu. At this point, he is just trying to chip at us. It's fine, that actually works out really, really good for us, because he's stalling for us. I'm gonna go ahead and play down Leo. I'm gonna play South Palmer right behind Mothra. I'm gonna go and go for the boost again. Everything is gonna get hit with the boost, so that's really nice. So if I'm gonna go and sneak in there, Rodan is gonna go down, so he's gonna get back literally almost half of what he just lost. But Rodan is doing heavy, heavy damage. He's trying to go for the double heal. And you play another Mothra, get some pressure down. Leo is connected. And drop a Hedora. Hedora is super good in this scenario. And that is game, so GG's Mugetsu. And for our next opponent, we're playing against Yor. Okay, Let's see what we got here. And I'm gonna go straight for the Hedora play. Love getting Hedora up. And once that gets closer, I am gonna go and get Mothra up and see what we can do. Does drop his own fellow Batra. Does go for a Kidu. Okay, I'm gonna try to block that. Kidu is going to work on that Hedora. So that eh, Kidu is gonna knock down Hedora, unfortunately, but. We are going to get Mothra, hopefully, so it's always nice getting at least something. It's fine, I'm going to let Gears do his thing, then I'm going to stack over, okay, just go for that. And I'm going to go for the Batra, try to cancel that out. Batra does connect to Gears, so that's even better on our part. Okay. And we're going to drop the South Palmer. I'm gonna distract that Mothra, or we're gonna distract the Rodan. Okay, it's good for us. I'm gonna go and pop the boost, get some damage in here. Keep Rodan at the play, so he's just sitting on a free slot. Okay. Doing a lot of damage, that's actually really good. Okay. It's nice. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and play Hedora now. Gonna get that back. 
Curious if we see if he plays Kidu, he probably won't just because he took a lot of damage, so he's probably trying to build something up. And I'm gonna drop Anguirus in the back, kind of farm up something, and then I'm gonna play Stealth Bomb on the left side and try to go all together. That Biolante is gonna get up for free, but I'm not really concerned about that. Does play Kidu. Okay, he is gonna drop down Biolante, probably right in the middle. So, okay, does do exactly that, okay. Kidu is, should lock on, yep, is gonna lock on Aguirus. Everything's looking good so far, nice. Does go for a psychic chorus, but hopefully we do get Batra. Do get Batra, Biolante is gonna stay up, so I am gonna play Mothra in the back. Try to farm up here a little bit. I'm gonna play another Aguirus, distract the Kidu, and I'm gonna go for a stealth bomber. That's fine, and I'm gonna play some Dorats in the back. I'm gonna farm up here a little bit. I'm gonna play stuff on to get some little protection here. And I'm gonna pop the boost. Everybody is gonna get the boost here. I'm gonna wait a little bit actually, and I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna shoot for it, because it is one cost and you do cycle through it pretty quickly, so hopefully I will get it again. Gears does manage to connect. Super nice. I'm gonna block that. Does go for a Dimension Tide, so at least we're putting some damage down. That's always good. Fine, gonna let Rodan connect, doesn't matter. The rights are gonna help put Batcher away, and then I'm gonna go for another Stealth Bomber play. I'm gonna go and throw Stealth Bomber out, shoot for it. Author and Stealth Bomber surprisingly is kind of a nice combo. One does the damage, the other one just sneaks in there and does something that's always nice. Yeah, he's gonna get the Rodan heals, so that is unfortunate, but it's whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go and block that. He's gonna Dimension Tide at some point, so I'm kinda try to hold back some of my cards. Okay, waiting on him still. He does drop down Kidu. I'm gonna drop down Leo to cancel out Kidu, then I'm gonna send the Stealth Bomber on the Mothra side. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. Does play as Rodan. He's just gonna Rodan cycle at this point. What he's going for, it's fine. Mothra's doing some damage, that's always nice. Try to cancel that out. So Palmer is gonna be some help, do some damage. Adora is hitting that too, so it's getting double the damage right now. It's always nice. He's gonna go for the play. Yeah, this is going to be pretty tough just because he does have a lot of cards that benefit in overtime. But he does have his own Kidu. Okay. Yeah, he is going to go through the road down cycling, so this is going to be pretty tough just because he's going to get heals consistently. And we're sitting on not much to heal ourselves with. Yeah, this is going to be super tough. I'm gonna try to go for the cheeky Mothra play. You can do, he is trying to cycle his way out right now, but we are laying down the boom right now. We drop down Hedora. It's good. I'm gonna try to buy ourselves some time. Hopefully that moth or hopefully that Rodan doesn't go down, and that is game. And we do manage to pull that one off. So GG's. And for our next opponent, we are playing against Shiro. Who is running this Ghidorah looter? So let's see what we got here. Do get Hedorah off the rip, and I'm gonna go straight for that. It's always nice getting in Gears too. Love getting some pushes off the bat, it's always fun. I'm gonna go and play in Gears. Does play Evo 1 and Rodan. Okay. Haven't seen Evo 1 since the last season, so it's always nice seeing him. He is also gonna drop Gigan. Okay. And I'm gonna drop Hedorah. Try to splash all this together. It's gonna work out really nice. The door is gonna go to work. That's looking really nice on our part. And I'm gonna go for a Mothra. Okay, Hedora is gonna put down Eva. Perfect. Does also have Shin. So, okay. It's always nice seeing some different stuff. So, shout out Shira. And I'm gonna play Leo. Wanna see what he does against that. Also, he's gonna play his fire row down, okay. Fine. I'm 
do manage to take out that shin, I believe. No, okay, yeah. So second form. Okay, it's fine. You're gonna do a little bit of damage. You're gonna go for a stealth bomber. Why not? You're gonna go and play Mothra. Kinda gonna throw it at him. See what he does. Gonna pop the boost off for it right about now. He does drop Kidu down, but hopefully Mothra can connect and lay the damage down. Mothra does connect, so that's a two for one. And that is game. So GG sir. And for our next opponent, we are playing against a Japanese player. Let's see what we get. Do we get Mothra? Instantly gonna go for that. Hopefully it doesn't have train bomb or dimension tide. So I mean the stealth bomber isn't the worst thing in the game in my opinion. Definitely can lay some damage down. Is kind of guaranteed damage other than like a Megagirius or Sanjay, something freezing it or you know, something getting in the way. I'm definitely a fan. Could definitely see myself using it if they drop the energy cost to like 3 or a 4 maybe at most. But the way it is definitely is pretty costy for what it does. Definitely love to see it get energy drop. That would be cool. Special down Space Godzilla. Okay. And a Manila. Okay. I'm gonna get another hit on the bomber, so that's always nice getting double damage. Yeah. Manila does go down, so all we got is Space Godzilla. Not bad for an opening play, not bad at all. And I'm gonna wait till I get Hedora, send Hedora together, and then I'm gonna go for a Space Godzilla. He's gonna go for Rodan, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play Angiris, go ahead and tank for me. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and send Leo down, try to get rid of that Ghidorah. Does play Violante on the outside. Okay. I'm gonna go and chip away with Dorads when the Violante gets closer, and I'm gonna send a stealth bomber behind the Dorads. Nice. Good for a little bit. Does also send a Caesar and a Rodan. Okay. Actually change of plans. Gonna go ahead and play a Mothra. Gonna go for the clock. Nice. I'm gonna go for an Angiris underneath. Perfect. Now from this point, I'm gonna literally drop the bomber down and try to go to town with this push right here. Drops right on the Batra, but is gonna get connected. You're gonna get some damage in this. The bomber is gonna block. So it does manage to miss, but the bomber does lay down a hit. That's all I needed. Perfect. Mothra is gonna connect. Do a lot of damage with that Kong boost. This is looking pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna drop down Mothra Leo. He does try, actually, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Drop down Hedora, catch a little bit here, then go from here. Drop the Spark just down, go and block for that. I'm gonna let that connect. I'm gonna go behind and try to go for the play right here. Things looking good right now. I'm gonna go and send Leo. Fine. Just put Batcher down. It's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that out. Nice. I'm gonna go and reset myself. Put down Hedora. Kong should wipe that out. I'm gonna take a hit, but that's fine. I'm gonna build up slowly but surely. Just drop down a Ghidorah. He's gonna drop down a Rodan. Yep. Wait for that. I'm gonna go to the Gyrus, make it turn a little bit here. Then I'm gonna go with Mothra to shoot him all behind. And I'm gonna send a bomber for the finisher. Fine. It's gonna do a little bit of damage, but Mothra should put down that Ghidorah with the help. I'm gonna go and block that. Perfect. I'm gonna go and send the bomber. I'm gonna go for the boost again. So I'm gonna try that. Go for this. Perfect. Bomber's going to work right now. It's nice. Bomber does manage to get another hit. That should be the hit to do it. And that is, so geez. And for our final match, we are playing against a Japanese player. Okay, let's see what we got here. And we're gonna go instantly for Hedora. So let's drop an energy base. Okay. Gonna drop in Gears in the back. I'm gonna form up a little bit. Letting Gears go on his own. Protect my Mothra. I'm gonna go for that as well. So let's drop down Space Godzilla. So 
to also drive down Super X. Okay. And we drop down Hedorah on land just so we can meet up faster with this base Godzilla. Don't really want him to build up too much of a push. So that's fine. Let me go and drop the my Doras down. So I include that. Go for that. Perfect. Everything's looking pretty decent so far. We're gonna go and drop down Mothra as well. It's gonna be pretty stally. So once I get five, I am gonna drop down the stealth bomber and try to make a fat play from here. And we're gonna go pop the ability. Wanna kinda of wipe this out. Do some heavy damage. So it's nice. You managed to wipe out space cuts a little, so that's good. I'm gonna reset myself, reset it with the Hedora, block it with the Nigiris, and then try to finish it off with the bomber. Block that off. Perfect. I'm gonna get my personal protectors. Let me get the bomber going. See what we can do from here. Death drop down G89, so he did waste seven, and I'm gonna send the bombers in right now. Gonna go and launch away. Hopefully we can make something from this. Should do a little bit of damage. Actually gonna hold off a little bit. Don't wanna overload for nothing. Bomber is doing some decent damage. It's actually really good, especially since he had Psychic Chorus. So that is pretty good. Gonna wait for a little bit. Actually gonna opt to drop in Gearus. Does go for the boost, okay. He is going for the healing. Fine, but GD9 is gonna go down either way, so that's good. Nice. We're gonna go and block the Super X, play a Mothra over, try to get rid of Space Godzilla. We're gonna go and work any gears on the right side. Once the door connects, Super X is gonna go down. And the crystals are going to stall for us, so I am going to get to put down the stealth bomber and try to finish them off from there. I'm going to send the stealth bomber. I'm going to put some Doras to chip away at the GD9. Once the stealth bomber gets closer, I am going to opt to use the ability, get the extra damage. Space Godzilla is going to make him connect to the crystals, but after that, I'm going to go to town. I'm going to go and go for the ability, do some heavy damage, one more hit, and that is game. So GG's. That's gonna be it for me guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Had a lot of fun using the stealth bomber. Really wish they would continue to give it buffs because I can definitely see myself using it again in the future. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later.